Hey, what's going on everyone? Now I'm actually recording this after I recorded the original video because I actually forgot to do like a normal intro. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say before we start the video, there are going to be minor spoilers. I'm going to show some gameplay footage of the boss fights and stuff. However, I will not be showing anything major such as the endings or anything like that because I've seen the endings and I think those will be better experienced if it's your first time playing. So I'll not be talking about any of those. So uh, yeah, that's it. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Again, a very small percentage of you uh, who watch the videos are subscribed. So please subscribe to the channel because it does help me out. And as always, Twitter, Patreon, and Discord, all that stuff is in the links in the description down below. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about Bowser's Fury. So I recently completed Bowser's Fury 100%. And of course, after I played that, I have some thoughts about it. So in today's video, I'll be giving my thoughts and, well... You know, all that good stuff. Also, guys, this video is not really that scripted. I mean, if I stutter or something like that, that's why. I mean, I scripted my Sonic Adventure video, and that took, like, two weeks to put together. And I would like, I wanted to get this video out while Bowser's Fury is still being talked about. So, this video is not really that scripted that much. So, uh, yeah, what's going on with the video? So, let's start off with the story, and, well, there's not much of it. Besides, Bowser is mad. Bowser Jr. needs our help. Let's go. And then we get dropped into this big open world thing. And this world has... It's it's basically on a lake. There's some islands to go to. There's three different areas to go to. And there's just these cat gates all over the place that are like... That are entrances to lighthouses. Now the lighthouses are like levels. Um, where you collect cat shines. So cat shines can be found within these cat gates lighthouses and there's five cat shines for each lighthouse whether that's catching a fury shadow or collecting blue coins or running to the end as fast as possible they're different missions basically for each lighthouse but the shines can also be found in places like islands and stuff that kind of thing uh bowser jr also helps you out a little bit he's basically like the co-star of this game a second player can also control him if they want to. I mean, who would want to do that? I mean, I mean, it's, it's literally the co-star from Mario Galaxy. Like, who wants to be the second player? So, Fury Bowser, let's talk about him for a bit. He spawns every once in a while. It's kind of like a day-night cycle. So, he spawns and basically just kind of ruins your day. He makes everything harder. He tries to kill you, basically. And you can, you can actually get rid of him by collecting cat shines, which would shine him away for a little bit. Uh, just send him back to his hiding hole, and then he'll come back like five minutes later. Um, and then you can also just wait until he goes away. Um, he, he, you can just hide from him for like, like two minutes, and he'll just go away. Or if you collected enough cat shines before he spawned, you can unlock the Giga Bell. So if you collect the Giga Bell... Th th then you can defeat Bowser, and after you defeat Bowser, a different area will unlock. There's three different areas, there's one that's kind of grassy, and yeah, that kind of thing. Then there's an icy, snowy area, and then there's a lava, rock kind of area. Um, so, th th there are some problems with Fury Bowser here. The game lags a lot when he spawns, and I feel like that's kind of weird, because most Nintendo games are really optimized for the Nintendo Switch, but I guess they just didn't catch this in development. So overall, I really liked Bowser's Fury. It's not really what I expected at all. Um, it's kind of a mix between Mario Odyssey and 3D World. And I honestly thought this game was just supposed to be more 3D World. But no, it's completely different. This game, the only similarities really between 3D World and this game is that it just reuses assets from 3D World. Like the enemies, Mario power-ups, Mario moveset, all of that. But no, this is legit like a Mario Odyssey one and a half. It's not necessarily a sequel to Mario Odyssey. It's like a, it's it's heavily inspired from Mario Odyssey. It you can just tell by the animations, the map layout, all of that stuff. You can tell that this game took a ton of inspiration from Odyssey, and I'm a sucker for Odyssey, so of course I like this game. So what I liked about this game, I just liked how it was set up. I liked that you had to go back to previous levels to collect new cat shines and stuff. And I also liked the endings too. They were kind of funny, but. I'm honestly not going to talk too much about that. I also like how Bowser Jr. helps you out. Helps you out. Like, you can get power-ups from him and stuff. But if you're the second player, which I was playing with my brother most of this game, you, he can collect the cat shards or 
he can kill enemies and stuff. So, uh, so Bowser Jr. has more importance than, like, the co-star in Mario Galaxy. It's just, I mean, who, like, the thing with 3D World is that when it's multiplayer in 3D World, everybody has the same importance. Everybody can control the character. But Bowser Jr. is just kind of like the helper co-op mode that nobody wants to play as. But, I mean, this game is obviously supposed to be for single player. It's just... It just kind of sucks, because 3D World is all about multiplayer, and this one is, well, it's not, so that's one thing I didn't like. I also don't like how the game was really performed badly when Bowser was around. It's just, it was not that fun when the game was lagging non-stop and you can't really move. Uh, so some people complain that this game was too short, and I feel like many people don't realize that this game was just added on as an extra. Just just so they could sell the game better, because they were legit selling an 8-year-old game, and they needed to add something so people would actually buy it. And they didn't just pull a Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze and add an easy mode, or a Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and just replace old levels with new ones, no. They added a full-on six hour game to the mix and well that's obviously great i'm glad that they did that i mean i again i thought that this was supposed to be just a new world in 3d world just more 3d world but no they could legit sell bowser's fury on the eShop for like 20 bucks and they could call it a day but they didn't they added it to 3d world so i feel like people don't understand like oh my gosh why didn't we get a 45 hour game <laughs> and and with 3D World, because 3D World is the star of the show here. That's your 20-hour game. I don't really know how long it takes to complete. Probably not that long, but that's your full game here. This is just something extra. But what I didn't like is I, after I 100%ed it, I was like, well, that's it. I mean, obviously, this game is just supposed to be something extra. Like I've said like 13 other times already, but it... I feel like I, I just got left wanting more, to be honest. I just wanted more Bowser's Fury after I was done completing it. And that's also not hard to 100% either. After you beat the game, uh, there's a bunch of post-game shines that appear, and well, yeah, so... It, I feel like... I feel like many people just complain that it's too short because they just wanted more, and I did too, but... Uh, yeah, so another thing that people bring up is that this is kind of like the Odyssey 2, I mean... It, sure, it takes a lot of inspiration from Odyssey, like, just how the map is set up and, like, the icons showing you where the shines are is legit like a carbon copy from Odyssey. And it's not... It, it definitely takes inspiration from Odyssey, but I don't think it's Odyssey 2. I mean, for real, like, even Mario's moveset was changed to be more in line with Odyssey. Like, he has the dive now and a few other differences as well. And that was, they also changed it in the normal 3D world, which I don't think was really necessary. They could have just changed it for Bowser's Fury, but considering that it, they only added the dive move, it, and you can, like, round pound into a roll and that kind of thing, it, it, it was just whatever. Like, you can add that in the main game. So yeah, Bowser's Fury was actually pretty fun. I mean, I enjoyed the time I had with it. I legit beat it in the span of two days, but still, it was pretty fun, and I think... 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, it is definitely worth the $60, especially if you've never played 3D World before. But I've played 3D World before and 100%ed it before I got 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, so. I, and I'm still trying to 100% 3D World again, so. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for today's pretty short and sweet video. I mean, I have another video planned to come out this week, guys, so if you liked this sort of rant, like, unscripted kind of video, then uh, please leave a like and subscribe again. It helps me out a ton, so, uh, yeah, so uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.